This is a video about the circulation system. And this is an amazing picture because it is the blood vessels that are in a human body filled with a, a red plasticky resin. And you can see, in fact, that this has got no skin, no organs, just blood vessels. And you can see that it is very much the outline of a human being. And so this shows, I think, in an amazing way, the extent of the circulatory system of where blood goes. And we need to know why blood goes to every part of your body, how it gets there and what the blood does. So on the why, the, the key area that we need to discuss here is respiration. And we know that every single living cell will do the nine life processes outlined by Mrs. Gren. And one of the R's in Mrs. Gren is respiration. And so respiration is the breakdown of glucose with oxygen to form and more specifically to release energy and the waste products of carbon dioxide and water. It would be ridiculous to say that a car produces fumes out of the exhaust and that's the reason that the car exists. A car burns petrol in order to get the energy to move and the exhaust fumes are the byproducts. And that's exactly the same for carbon dioxide and water. They're the waste products of respiration because it's all about getting energy. Now, in order for every single cell to do respiration because they're alive, and you may remember that that happens in the mitochondrion, the organelle within a cell, we need to get the glucose and the oxygen to those cells. And the extent of these blood vessels that you can see in this picture is how it's done. And the blood is going to carry oxygen in the red blood cells and glucose is going to be carried in the plasma and it's going to go from the heart, which is going to pump it out to all of the extremities in the body via the arterial system and up to the head. And then the oxygen is going to be dropped off by the red blood cells at the respiring tissues. It's going to diffuse down a concentration gradient, a key term, into the cells. Because if the cells have used oxygen, there's a low concentration of oxygen in the cells. And the high concentration of oxygen in the blood means that oxygen will diffuse into the cells down a concentration gradient. So the blood has been delivered through the pumping of the heart to all of the extremities of the body. The blood will drop off the oxygen and because the respiring cells have produced CO2, there's going to be a fair amount of CO2 around in those cells. There won't be much CO2 in the blood because it was carrying oxygen. And so carbon dioxide will diffuse into the blood. And we will therefore have blood which is returning to the heart with carbon dioxide in. Now, when that happens, the carbon dioxide rich blood, which has received it from the tissues in the cells, is going to go to the heart. But we know that it needs to pick oxygen up again. And so the heart is going to pump the deoxygenated blood the short distance to the lungs. The lungs which would be in this drawing, they'd be kind of, actually let me draw them in the green, they'd kind of be here and here. And so the blood has been pumped to the lungs and it's going to drop off its carbon dioxide, which is going to be breathed out, and it's going to pick up oxygen, which is going to be in the lungs because it's been breathed in. 
And this really subtle point is that just like at the tissues where oxygen diffused from the blood into the cells down a concentration gradient and carbon dioxide diffused from the cells to the blood down a concentration gradient, the reverse is going to happen here. There's not much carbon dioxide in the lungs, but there's quite a high amount in the blood when it reaches the lungs. So carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveoli air sacs down a concentration gradient. There's a lot of oxygen in air that's just been breathed in, about 20%. Not a lot of oxygen in the blood. And so oxygen diffuses down a concentration gradient from the air in the alveoli into the blood. And once we have blood that is oxygenated, if we put this back into black, it will go from the lungs back to the heart, where the process will restart. And those original black arrows I had will pump the oxygenated blood from the right hand side of sorry, the left hand side of the heart to the right hand side. And so that is a summary of the circulatory system. We need to know that it delivers oxygen and glucose to all cells because they're alive. We need to know that the blood picks up carbon dioxide from the cells. We need to know that the gases carbon dioxide and oxygen diffuse down their concentration gradients, both at the cells and at the lungs. And we need to know that the heart has pumped the blood twice. First, it has pumped the blood around the body, which is the left-hand side. And then when the blood's come back, it's pumped it on the right-hand side to the lungs. And so the blood will have traveled through the heart twice. And that is a summary of the circulatory system and why we have it.